All right, let's take a look at the PowerShell tools. Um, I actually haven't used this one yet, so I'm kind of curious. I am on a Windows machine, so if I was to um, open CM or PowerShell, and you probably can't see this, but if I just bring this over here, if I type in PowerShell on my computer, you'll notice that I have it. Um, so that's how you'd launch it. It looks like a blue screen here, okay? Um, if you're on a Mac, you're not gonna have that, but that's totally fine. We don't need to have a Windows machine to use PowerShell because we can go ahead and use Cloud Shell. So make sure you're in a region that supports Cloud Shell. So I switch back to North Virginia. Uh, again, this is not important for the exam, but it's just kind of fun for me to go through this with you uh, if you just like wanna watch uh, here. And so I wanna change this over to PowerShell. So I imagine that it must be over here. Um, so how do we change to PowerShell? So we'll type in AWS Power or AWS Cloud Shell PowerShell. Like, how do we do it? Okay, and so I'm just going to scroll down here. So the following shells are pre-installed: uh, the Bash, the PowerShell, the Z Shell. You can identify them by that. Yeah, of course. Uh, to switch to new shell, enter the shell's program name in the command line prompt. Oh, wow, that's easy. So um, if we want PWSH, do we just type PWSH? Let's find out. Give it a moment to think. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now we're using PowerShell. And so I would think that AWS would give this pre-installed for us. So if we go over here to the instructions and we scroll on down, there's probably like, oh wait, like I don't use PowerShell a lot. It's very easy to install modules. Um, I've done it before, but I never remember how to do it. But let's just see what we can find here. So I want the documentation for PowerShell here. And I'm gonna go to the, um, the maybe the reference here because I just wanna see some examples for the commandlets. And so we'll look for S3. Again, never done this before, but I'm always great at jumping uh, into these things. And all I wanna do is just list out the buckets. So I'm gonna just search for the word list um, and just see if I can find something very simple here. And calls to get the list buckets API operation. So I think that is what we're going to be doing here. So I'm gonna click into that, okay? And then from there, what I'm going to do is just see if I can copy this command. So we will go ahead and copy this and paste it in here. And I like how we got this little shell here so we can tweak it. So we need the bucket name, but I don't want to return a list of all the buckets owned by the author. So we don't have a bucket name that we want to explicitly set here. So it's required false. So we can remove that. Okay, we'll look at the next one, select uh, required false, use the select command to control the commandlet output. The default is bucket specifying select will result in turning all the whole buckets. For that, specifying the name. Uh, but it says it's not required, so let's just take that out as well. I don't think we need any of these, actually. Let's just go and put that in there. And I think that there must be something we need to put in front of that, right? Well, let's just see what happens. Uh, the term is not recognized as the name of the commandlet function script is operable. So I think we're missing something in front of here. We'll go to the user guide here quickly. And we'll get to the getting started. I just want a super simple example here. New bucket, get bucket. Well, let's try this one here because they have it here. And so it should just work, right? I'm going to change this to US East 1. The term new bucket is not recognized as the name of the commandlet function. So I'm guessing that the commandlet's not installed. I would have thought that they would have installed it by default. So I guess what we'll do is look at how to install it. So installing on Linux, I suppose. So you can install the modularized version of the PowerShell on computers. To install AWS tools on uh, Linux, PWSH, to start PowerShell core session. So I guess that's how you must start it on Linux. And then install the module this way. So, yeah, I said it's easy to install these things. We'll hit enter. Cross your fingers. Hope this works. Hope this is fast. I'm just going to take a look here, peek uh, forward here. If you are no uh, if you're notified the repository is untrusted, you're asked if you want to trust anyway, just hit Y. So we're waiting for that here. Um, you're installing this module from untrusted repository. <laughs> it's funny that it's untrusted, by, but it's by AWS. 
Maybe that's some kind of drama between Microsoft not letting AWS have an official module there, but it looks like it should be installed now. So if I type in get S3 buckets here, um, unless I typed it wrong, that still doesn't seem to be working. If I go up here and try to create a new bucket, still does not rec uh, recognize the command commandlet here. So there must be more going on here. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. If you're notified, you can now install the module for each service. Okay, well, what did we do? You're installing the, the, the modules from an untrusted, if you trust it, change the uh, change its installation policy value by running set policy command. Are you sure you want to install this module from the PS gallery? So I said yes, and I gave it a capital Y, and it didn't do anything else. So, oh, hold on here. So this is the installer. And then here is the actual tool that we want to install. So it installed, to, oh, so we just installed this thing and now we use this thing to install S3. Okay, great, not hard, <laughs> okay. And so we'll just say yes to all. And so that's going to install, I guess everything. Oh, we said EC2 and S3. Well, we didn't need both, but that's fine. And so what I'm gonna do is go get bucket. And so now it recognizes it, it lists out the items here. We can go and create ourselves a new bucket. So we'll do that. Okay, we'll make our way back over the AWS Management Console. We'll go to S3, just cause I don't need all these buckets lying around here. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete some of these buckets here. So we'll say delete my bucket, great. And we'll go to this one here and say delete my bucket, excellent. All right, so we have an idea how to use PowerShell. And so PowerShell is just really popular because of its uh, the way you do inputs is very standardized and the outputs that come. So it's very popular um, and a very powerful uh, scripting tool that's uh, our CLI tool as well. So, uh, you know, hopefully that's that uh, was interesting for you. But what we'll do is just close these off here and go back to our, our homepage. Always just clicking that logo there and there we go.